Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I know you guys have been patiently waiting for me to kick off my fall baking season and I'm going to do that today with my pumpkin spice macaroons. You guys are going to love these. We're going to start things out with a spicy macaron shell, make a spiced pumpkin buttercream and add a surprise caramel center. You guys are going to love these. Let me show you how to make them. I'm going to start things off with my dry ingredients first. I'm going to sift into a large bowl 120 grams of almond flour and 200 grams of confectioner's sugar, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon each of nutmeg, ground cloves, and ground allspice. Sift this all into the large mixing bowl. You wanna make sure that you don't have any clumps and I can already smell the aroma of the spices here. They smell so good. And now onto that meringue, into my mixing bowl, I'm going to add in 100 grams of egg whites and 50 grams of white granulated sugar. And then mix this on high speed until you get stiff peaks. And you'll know your meringue is all done when it holds its shape very well. And if you invert your bowl, it doesn't come out. I'm going to transfer that meringue directly into my dry ingredients. And then it's time to begin that folding process. I like to fold from the bottom and then just use my spatula to kind of flatten that meringue against the sides of the mixing bowl. You wanna make sure that you get all the flour and the sugar incorporated. And keep mixing that batter until it reaches ribbon stage and it should rip in off of your spatula and then settle back down on itself within about 10 to 15 seconds. And then transfer the batter into a pastry bag tipped with a large round tip. I've lined two baking sheets with parchment paper. You can also use silicone mats. And now it's time to pipe those macarons. Once you have your macarons piped, just give your pans a few hard taps to release any trapped air bubbles. You'll need to let these cookies rest at room temperature for one hour, allowing a thin shell to form on the outside. While they're setting and drying, you can preheat your oven to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. These cookies will bake for about 17 to 18 minutes. Once they're done baking, just take them out of the oven and let them cool completely on the pans. And we'll come back to make our filling. And while my macarons are cooling, I'm going to get started on the buttercream frosting. I've softened half a cup of unsalted butter. I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a sprinkle of ground nutmeg, it's about eight, one eighth of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm going to whip this butter on high speed until it's light and fluffy. Then start adding the confectioner sugar. I'm going to add a total of about two cups today. Just give it a good mix after each addition. And last, add in a quarter cup of pure pumpkin puree. And then you wanna mix this just until it's incorporated, about 30 seconds. And once the macaron shells are cooled, you wanna pair them up by size and then turn one half upside down and then Pipe that frosting around the edges. Leave a little spot in the center for where you can add the caramel if you would like to add it. Today I'm just using some store-bought caramel. You can also use my salted caramel recipe, which I also have a video of that on my channel. And then top with the second half. And that's it for my pumpkin spice macarons. You guys are going to love how aromatic these are. Once you have your cookies assembled, you can place them into the refrigerator, allow that buttercream to set up for a couple hours, and then transfer them into an airtight container, back into the refrigerator for at least two days. You want the cookies to mature. All that means is the shells will become really nice and soft, and they're going to be that much better. And I'm going to try one right now, and I absolutely love how these turned out. Now, if your pumpkin buttercream begins to separate, what you could do is just Add another half cup of confectioner sugar and that should bring it back together. These are still a little soft. 
Mm. My pumpkin buttercream is coming out the other end. These just need to be in the refrigerator for a little bit. But let me tell you guys, so incredibly delicious. I love that you get that real pumpkin flavor from the pumpkin buttercream. And the macaron cookies themselves are really spicy. You have the cinnamon, the nutmeg, absolutely in. Incredible. Now for the full recipe, head down into my video description box. I leave a link there. It'll take you over to my blog where you can print this recipe off, save it to Pinterest, and of course, share it with your family and friends. I hope you guys enjoy this fall themed macaron cookie recipe and I'll see you next time.